Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this video in one go, therefore I apologise in advance if I stumble over my words going forwards, and indeed if the quality of this video is fairly poor as well, if there's any lag, anything like that at all, sadly it can't be helped, and hopefully it's not too much of an issue for you. This is yet another Eurovision 2021 related video here on my channel and another type of reaction video as well because another country has entered the mix for the upcoming edition of the Eurovision Song Contest which is scheduled to take place as we all know this May at the Ahoy in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. That country is Cyprus. I have a little bit of information in front of me just to make sure I don't forget anything. Cyprus debuted in 1981 and has appeared in 30 of 36 finals so far. Now, for a country that's quite small, and definitely, it has to be said, does not have the most, uh, the biggest music scene in the whole of Europe, that is a very impressive record indeed. Uh, second place in Lisbon 2018 is their best result to date. Their debut, fittingly enough, in 1981, was by a group called Island. The song was called Monica, performed in Greek and it finished 6th, and then they finished 5th a year later with Anna Visi, who would of course in 2006 represent Greece. Evrediki has been at Eurovision for Cyprus a few times, most recently in 07, and you've also had Konstantinos Christoforou, who I believe has done Eurovision two or three times for Cyprus. Anyway, over the past 10 years, 2011 didn't qualify, 2012 La La Love fan favourite in Baku, finished mid-table in the final, 2013 didn't qualify, 2014 didn't take part, 2015 against the odds made the final with a really charming ballad, juries liked it, public didn't, finished low down, 2016 rock number qualified but finished in the bottom half, 2017 bottom half and I think it's worth saying uh, and I'm sure I'm not alone with this opinion, Gravity by Hovig, it's an alright song but I really don't think it was good enough to be in the final myself. I thought that at the time and I think it now. Uh, 2018, of course, Fuego uh, was uh, brilliant. It was such a great performance and it's lasted longer than Toy, the Israeli winner. And what I mean by that is I think most people would put Fuego above Toy now. At least it seems that way to me. 2019, it seems as though Cyprus went for Fuego 2.0 with replay by Tamta. It did qualify. It was the first song in the first semi-final. It was a more diluted Fuego. It didn't have as much energy. It wasn't such an enthralling performance. 13th in the final is fine, but it did, you have to say, flop a little bit in the public half of the results. Last year, Sandro with Running. This was a sort of deep house song. We'll never know how well it would have done. But I think a lot of people were very indifferent, including myself. I've barely listened to it since it was revealed last year. This year, though, it's another female with a song with a Spanish title. El Diablo means the demon. We've known the song title for a while, but earlier today the song was finally released. Elena Sagrinu is the 26-year-old Athens-born female who will perform this entry. She's presented on television. She was the co-presenter of The Voice of Greece a few years ago. A whole bunch of singles in the past, but no albums, it appears. And, yeah, she's been performing for quite a while. And she also did the Greek dub of Smurf Lily in the 2017 movie Smurfs The Lost Village. Fun fact. The only legitimate place on the internet, it seems, where the music video is, is Panic. That's Panic with a K on the end. Panicmusic.gr. The music video is there. I'm about to watch it. Now, I should say, this is the second time that I'm trying to film this video because I was interrupted a short while ago. So I have already heard the first 20 seconds or so of this song. And in my previous attempt at filming this video, I said that it sounded like a pop bop. And there was a fair amount of auto-tune, it appeared. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. There'll be a blog post at some point today, all being well. Elena Sagrinu with El Diablo. Here it is. Sorry if there's any lag. Yeah, she's in a silver outfit. Some people online have already compared this to Lady Gaga, and I am getting that vibe already. There's this sort of moody beat. She's all by herself. Beautiful woman. How will the live vocals be? 
Mamacita. Now we've got this sort of breathiness in the back. Oh! Can I just say as well, I'm liking this so far. Uh, but I've already seen some people online as well saying this could be our winner. Let's not get carried away. This is song 11 of 41. So, actually, it might not be our winner. And I've only listened to 56 seconds and I'm not getting winning vibes. Uh, but I do like this. If the live performance is similar to this music video somehow, it could be very special. Very much in the mould of Lady Gaga, this. I was expecting it to be a bit darker, given the title of the song. El Diablo. We've got certain shots here where she's sort of covered in plastic. Oh, is she just advertising head and shoulders shampoo there? That couldn't have been more blatant, could it? So the music video has an advertisement in it. That might well be cut from the YouTube version. Oh, sh there it is again. I don't mind this, but I'm already waiting for something a bit more exciting to come up. A little bit more oomph. I mean, it's a decent pop song. It's not as good as Fuego, but let's not compare the two. I just want to know what this will sound like live. She's being surrounded by dancers from the looks of it. Oh, and now we've got this part which was in the snippet yesterday. This sort of scary child sound in the back. I do quite like that. See, that gives the song a bit more of an edge, but it's very brief. Now we've got lots of flashing lights, dancers. It's very contemporary. Oh, look. I'm advertising some other stuff here. Not very subtle, I must say. I mean, I'm sure the live performance will make this very strong indeed. Ah! Well, there it is. Not the most exciting reaction you'll ever see of this particular entry. Uh, if I had to give it a mark out of 10, 10 being absolutely exceptional, best things in sliced bread, and one being absolutely awful, even worse than Euro Neuro, um, I would have to say a solid 7 out of 10, which is not too bad at all. Um, I feel as though the live performance is what will really make this song pop. At the moment, it's not too bad. The music video is fine. I mean, it was going to be fairly simple, because... You can't necessarily do anything too grand because of the ongoing pandemic. Um, she's great. Looks fantastic. The live vocals will be key. Uh, I mean, of course, um, the live vocals for Fuego uh, were pretty strong, even though there was quite a lot of energetic choreography. So who knows? We might get more of the same. Um, the advertising, I did not like at all. That was totally unnecessary, in my opinion. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on El Diablo for Cyprus. It's way too early to say if this is a qualifier, although I imagine it will be. Um, and it's way too early, way too early to say if it's going to be Cyprus 2022. I'm very much a realist when it comes to Eurovision. I don't think that's a winner. Not at all. But I think, I don't know, maybe somewhere between 5th and 10th in the grand final, if I was to sit here and make a wild prediction right now. I really don't have too much else to say. Um, I felt as though halfway through I was getting a little bit bored, maybe. Um, like I said, it's a music video. 
let's wait for the live performance and get an idea of what the staging will be like in Rotterdam and then we can start thinking about maybe if this is going to be a serious contender or not. I would say it's probably my number four or five at the moment. I actually haven't put anywhere on the internet my ranking of all the songs so far, but that will be coming very soon. I believe the German song, the official release is tomorrow, although it seems to have maybe already leaked online, so it's possible that I will hear five or ten seconds here or there, but in terms of the whole song, when it's out... I will listen to it and do a video all being well. Tomorrow, also, one minute snippets of the Heat 4 songs in Melody Festivalen, which is, of course, the Swedish selection for Eurovision. So there might be two videos tomorrow, blog posts here, there and everywhere. I'm going to start a blog post for El Diablo very shortly. It will be up at some point today, all being well. Hopefully there wasn't too much lag. Let me know your thoughts. Links in the description to my other social media pages. That is Cyprus entering the mix for Eurovision 2021. Until next time, take care of yourselves, leave comments if you so wish, share the video if you want to as well. Bye for now.